What's up guys, Aiden here for Civic Minded. Uh, today's video is not specific to the 9th gen Civic at all. Uh, it is specific to any Honda with push button start. So as you may know, if you get an ABS light, which mine is not on on right now, but I do have an ABS code. Uh, it's a 6111, so I was trying to fix my DRLs earlier today, and they aren't on right now. But, uh, and that killed my battery, which set a 6111, which is ECU low voltage. And if you've ever tried to clear any ABS code with a generic, like a blue driver OBD2 scanner, like I have, uh, you may find that that's not as easy. You'll get a warning message similar to this, and your codes will not go away. There are plenty of videos out there on how to clear those codes, but those are all demonstrated on keyed Hondas. Uh, on the 9th Gen Civic, unless you've got a 12, 13, or an LX of any year, you've got a push button. And if you've got something even newer, chances are you have a push button as well. So, uh, the way to reset an ABS light in a push button Honda is very similar to a keyed Honda. Some slight differences, the one, the one big consideration is with a keyed Honda, you put your foot on the brake and then turn the key to the on position, and the problem with that is if you want to go to the on position like we're in right now, you can't have your foot on the brake because the engine will start. So if you're in a Honda with push button start, chances are you have an OBD2 port. Uh, in that OBD2 port, you're going to want to go ahead and short pins number 4 and 9, just like you would in a keyed Honda. As you can see, those pins are shorted now, with the car off, of course. Here's a closer look at that OBD2 port. Uh, the pin numbers are not like they are in an integrated circuit. Instead, as seen in this photograph, the top left corner is pin number one, and then they're numbered by row. So the one on the re the one on the top right corner is number eight. The bottom left corner is number nine. Here are the ones you need to short for more clarity. Then come up, turn your car on like this. You'll see that shows up. I'm gonna do it again because you want to immediately. After you turn your car on, that's when you want to hit the brakes. So turn your car on and then immediate hit, immediately hit the brakes. So I'm going to do that. We want to keep that held until the ABS light turns off. Turns back on. Push the brake again when it turns back on. Release it when it turns off. And then it'll flash twice, indicating that the ABS is calibrated and your codes are gone. And that's it. You're done. <laughs> I know, pretty simple, right? I uh, just thought I'd make that for anyone who's got a push button Honda and an ABS code, because there's not real. I couldn't really find a ton of information about push button and resetting the ABS. It was all for keyed Hondas, but um, that will that that procedure will work on any Honda or Acura vehicle with push button start. So, as always, you can let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and uh, drive safe, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.